Here we have a virtual machine with the latest release of Sync Plavimi Server version 4 installed. As you can see we have our configuration, virtual file systems, user accounts, and so, now we want to upgrade the Sync Plavimi Server software from version 4 to version 5. The first step is to back up your version 4 configuration by typing a special URL in your browser. A zip file containing your backup will be created in the SMS backup folder in your C drive. Now that the backup is done we're going to manually stop and disable version 4 system services. This is a non-destructive upgrade, so for now we don't uninstall version 4, we only stop and disable it. This will allow us to re-enable it and restart it without any loss in case we need to do so in the future. Once the old version 4 system services are all stopped and disabled, the manual part of this upgrade is over, and everything else will be carried out automatically by version 5 installer. So let's double click on Sync Plavimi Server version 5 installer and go through the easy upgrade process. The first part of the installation process simply copies all files to your computer or virtual machine. Once all the new files are copied, the configuration wizard will start, and guide you through a very easy upgrade process. After setting up the necessary system services for you, the configuration wizard will ask you to make just a few simple choices. Since this was an in-place upgrade of a standalone server, we will choose the first option. Now we're asked to choose a super admin password. It's a good idea to use the same super admin password we had before. And now all we have to do is push the button to select your version 4 backup archive, and locate such archive on your hard drive. Then we can optionally select which version 4 virtual servers we want to import into our new version 5. We are now ready to go. Just click finish and wait. After a while our new version 5 is ready, and we can now access its configuration interface to verify that the upgrade was successful. Bingo! Your virtual site is there, and it has the same name it had in your old version 4. Let's start it now. Once the virtual site is started, let's click on the manage button to verify that all configuration was ported over. From the admin interface we can now see that all of our configuration, virtual file systems, user accounts, everything was properly upgraded.